Welcome to Oslo! Hi, we're Ruben and Rebecca. We specialize in quick trips on a budget. We recently took a trip to Norway and we spent two days in the beautiful modern city of Oslo. Transportation from the airport to the Oslo city center was so easy. For a little more than 11 bucks, we got there in about 20 minutes. Oslo hotels are notoriously expensive, so we went with budget accommodations and went with Comfort Express. The room was very small, but it was clean and very neat. Our first stop was to visit friends who'd moved to Oslo. What is it called? Norwegian style. Don't I look Norwegian? Uh -huh. <laughs> I can see you on the map. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Very good. After some waffles and some time catching up, it was back to the waterfront. Made it to the top of the opera house. We got a great view from up here, including a view of the sun that's gonna stay there till around midnight. I hope we have blackout curtains in there. It's been a long day. This was Thor's hammer, but it turns out to be a monument to the Nazi resistors from World War II. What does it taste like? Very sweet coconut. Oh. Oslo, Norway. We are sitting by the palace, right? Yeah, the royal, the palace. royal palace at the top of uh, Carl Johan's Gate. So a road that goes all the way down to the waterfront, and uh, it's just a spectacular day. We got really lucky with weather. A lot of bikers, lime scooters, people on e-bikes, just going through the city, and it just seems very vibrant. I just think we we picked a good time. Thank you. 
to Frogner's Park here in Oslo. There's a ton of people, it's a beautiful day, and it's a really cool park, it's huge. This park is famous for the sculptures, which you'll see in just a bit. They're very fascinated and some are a little disturbing. A little head scratching for some of them. <laughs> Pulsers for lunch. You ready? Let's dig in. Standing in front of Gamle Akker Kirke, I'm butchering my Norwegian pronunciation of this church behind me. Uh, yeah, it's not 200 or 300 or 400 years old. Try a thousand years old. The oldest building in Oslo, and it's still an active congregation. They're doing some renovation to it right now. But this old church has been a fixture here in this neighborhood for a thousand years. Pretty amazing. sightseeing type areas are right here near the train station and the waterfront. So it's a really easy walking city. The uh, public transportation too is spot on. There's an app that you can get uh, that'll take you pretty much anywhere. It'll show you where to get on either a bus or a train, how long it's going to take, and it's it's on. So uh, easy getting around this town. Are we 
Norwegian beer. And, it is Norwegian yeah. beer. And? It's, uh, it's actually delicious. <laughs> Well, sadly, it's time to leave Oslo. However, our adventure will continue. We are heading west towards the town of Bergen, which is a six and a half hour train ride from Oslo. But we're not going all the way to Bergen. We'll be stopping in Myrdal. The train ride to Bergen is spectacular. It doesn't matter what side of the train you're sitting on. You're going to see some beautiful and stunning scenery. at Myrdal to head to our next adventure. We're taking the famous Flamsbana train to the fjord town of Flam. Be sure to watch our Flam video and you will see something spectacular. Don't miss it!